Today in the livestock market, cattle was higher. The futures did regain support after the USDA report on uh, the on feed report on Friday. I think uh, fundamentally we're still a little bit negative, but uh, uh, the prices are back inside this last two week uh, channel, just showing maybe a little bit of sideways trade. Also, a uh, note that the highest open interest in the DEES contract is at 130, so we're kind of like staying right at that level. The CVAL today is up three quarters percent to 15 percent, so that makes it a, a little bit stronger market. Let's uh, hope that uh, that's gonna, uh, you know, we're gonna hang on to that going forward. Now, the feeders did rebound as well. The USDA report was a somewhat a neutral. I think the expectation that the market was bearish got the got uh, the the entire the beef complex a little bit overcooked on Friday when the market was selling off. Uh, traders did move to the sidelines just to wait till those numbers came out, and of course you know, it was relatively neutral. Now, it was going to be difficult to match last year's placements because they were so high. So when they came in a little bit lower, I think it wasn't really a surprise. That's why we saw a little uh, rebound today in, uh, in the market. I think the futures then get back, you know, gets back into the channel with the live cattle at uh, open interest in the options at 130-ish area. Of course, we got back closer to that. Also in the feeders, uh, the uh, option open interest is strongest at the 160 and we got back into to that range as well. So I guess we're going to be moving sideways until we get a little bit more uh, from the demand side. And of course, that, <laughs> the, you know, inflation and of course, the economy opening back up is also going to have an impact on that demand. So we've got a lot to be watching for uh, going forward. Now, the hogs were uh, a little bit uh, higher today. I mean, the futures did uh, had fallen uh, faster than the cash index. And I think we got a little bit of rebound. I mean, two days in a row. I mean, two days doesn't necessarily mean an uptrend, but we did get a little bit of support in the market today. Uh, the momentum that really sold the market off from September 30th to uh, to last Thursday, I mean, is like a $13 drop was kind of a big surprise. And, uh, you know, perhaps uh, shook out a lot of those uh, long markets, uh, the, the long position holders that were looking at the tight supply situation. And of course, we do have a tight supply situation. That being said, the cold storage report, the expectation was that they were going to be a little bit higher as we go into the fall months anyway for beef and pork. So that shouldn't have been any surprise, but perhaps today a little bit higher might be an indicator that uh, the selling is over, but you know, we still have to watch that going forward. The uh, CVAL is down 3% to 32.7. Uh, that's just an indication of how far we've fallen in the market. So perhaps we've made the, uh, we've made the upturn uh, so far, but we, you know, it remains to be seen, but today was a little bit stronger uh, to start the week.